Our first recipient is Chloe McKinney. Our second recipient tonight is Graham Cox. Somebody that just shows the outstanding leadership and also with their ability in golf. Drew Posada is the recipient. Ladies and gentlemen, our first inductee into the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame in 2017 is Doug Toole. Those who know Toole best nicknamed him Monty Hall because he's always trying to make some sort of deal. You played in a pro-am and the, one of the guys he played with uh, was in the tire business. And sure enough, when he got done, he had a new set of tires being shipped to his house. I mean, he's just a likable person. That's just Doug. He was just, he was great with people. Well, I feel like I need to have a moment of silence for my mentor, Monty Hall, who passed away two days ago. <laughs> That's true, and Brillo, you still owe me for that second BMW, by the way. <laughs> It is certainly a pleasure. I want to thank the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame Committee uh, and all of its, uh, the people who are involved with this for this uh, award. I cherish it very much. The state of Oklahoma has a great golf legacy and I'm now part, glad to be part of that legacy. For all he did for the game as a player, teacher, and developer, we welcome Ernie Vossler into the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame. I feel that Ernie had a way of always surrounding himself with high achievers and competitive personalities that would fulfill his business expectations of providing excellent service and remarkable experiences. He instilled the life lessons of working hard and always being on time in, who, in all who work by his side. Try as they might, suffice to say, Few Oklahoma golfers ever stood as tall as Mark Hayes. Please welcome Mark Hayes into the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame. Uh, we thank the world, my dad, and uh, we're extremely proud of what he's accomplished on the course, whether it's uh, playing or, uh, or designing. Uh, so receiving this uh, recognition by his peers and the Oklahoma golf uh, community, and in doing so, joining some uh, very elite uh, uh, very elite company is, is really special. And what a testament it is for someone who accomplished so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe Walser Jr. into the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame. He was a wonderful golf teacher as well as a successful businessman. And he was a devoted father and family man and a man of very high morals. And I think we've heard that tonight as well. He was one of the most loyal persons you'd ever meet. Thirty-one years after stepping out of that bunker, victorious at the PGA Championship at Inverness, Tway now steps into the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame. We had a lot of people come watch us that year at Scarlet for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe people just wanted to go up there and look at that golf course because it was so good. But so we had a big following. We so we won that tournament. We had a big party at the one of the local restaurants and. Um, Big couple big long tables. Anyway, we ordered, but the food was it was too many people. Food was taking too long and, and the all the adults were over there having champagne and wine and of course Jeff Walser and Willie, they'd snuck over and talked to one of the the uh, waitresses and they'd brought us a couple bottles of champagne and we were hiding them under the table and pulling our water glasses and, and we were having a good time too. <laughs> so about that time Coach Holder walks down because we were making too much noise and uh, he walks down there, and you can tell he's not going to be very happy. And uh, he looks over at Willie, and he goes, Willie, what would you order for dinner? And Willie looks at him like, uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> so coach, coach is about to get mad at us, but at that time, Joe Walser, who had been there that week uh, watching us play, walks down there. And, coach, what's going on down here? Yeah, the boys have got in, too. Well, don't, don't, don't worry about that. And he puts his arms around Coach, and... That nice, slow Oklahoma draw and says, Coach, sometimes you've just got to let the horses run. <laughs> I think the reason why, um, you know, I 
wake up every morning. I don't have to drive very far to get the golf course, but um, I enjoy going there. And a lot of it's because I love golf, but most of it is because of you people. You're fun to be around, and I appreciate you, everything you've done for me. Thank you.